So I had a little bit of, let me turn this fan off. I had a little bit of dry rot repair I had to do and, and I needed to cut some party plank. And so I was trying to figure out the best way to do that without having to spend, spend a bunch of money on an expensive blade. And I just came up with uh, using my angle grinder and I had already had this diamond blade. I think you can get these fairly cheap and it works great. Um, so that solved the cutting part. You know, it's most of your cuts are uh, are not rip cuts. I did have one rip cut that I did, and I did use this, and it it worked really well. You're actually it's amazing how you can cut a straight line with this thing. Uh, but most of it's cross cuts, and uh, that's a pretty quick cut, easy to make. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, worrying about the dust. And you know, I've got one of these. You can wear one of these. You know, the half mask or half face uh, respirator. Uh, with the P100 filter um, you know and I would recommend that if you're doing this a lot you know I would definitely recommend wearing one of these and I did when I first started uh, a couple cuts that I did um, but after that I decided I'd turn on this fan and I'd just hold my breath uh, through these cross cuts if you're doing a rip cut then I would definitely wear uh, the respirator here but if you're just doing a cross cut you can easily hold your breath you got the fan on you'll see it'll blow all the, the dust and stuff behind me so let's see how it goes definitely wear your hearing protection That's it. Super easy. Nice straight cut. Um, yeah, there's a little dust that was blown up, but like I said, I just held my breath. I mean, for what a 20 second cut. That's pretty easy to do. Um, but still, most of the stuff went blown behind me. So, if you're just doing a, a little bit of uh, repair work with your hardy plank, uh, here's a easy tip for making some quick cuts. Thanks for watching.